Dr. Clitter here. Many patients come in saying, what about my nose? How can you help me? I don't like my dorsal hump. I don't like my nasal tip. I'm here to give you a background about nasal anatomy. So here is a patient before a rhinoplasty, and here is that patient afterwards. And I will superimpose these pictures on top of this of actual real patients, but these are drawing diagrams of a real patient. So what I have done here is outline the nasal tip of a patient who has a dorsal hump and poor nasal tip definition. So how do we go about achieving that contoured, nice little ski jump nose, which is um, many, a term that many people use when they come in asking for a rhinoplasty, but what they're really looking for is what we call a super tip break right there, where it comes down and it just breaks up a teeny bit um, to give that nice, gentle curve to the nasal tip. So the important thing to know is that in the nose, you have bone and you have cartilage. So the bone is up here. That's bone. This blue part is the cartilage. The cartilage is if you push on your nose and it wobbles and it moves, but it still provides form and structure, that's the cartilage. If you push on it and it doesn't move, that's bone. So when we are addressing patients who have a dorsal hump or an area here which is too large, it's because they have too much bone and they have too much cartilage. And so what we need to do is we need to shave down the bone and shave down the cartilage. So these both get reduced. Now this is why a surgical rhinoplasty is more efficacious and more long-term treatment for patients rather than a liquid rhinoplasty. In a liquid rhinoplasty, the patient would come in and would have filler put into here to try and blunt what we call the radix. Right here is the radix. Okay, and that area gets filled and that's what actually makes the nasal tip look smaller and the dorsal hump look ne less noticeable. However, eventually it goes away and you have to come back and you get more filler. So if you want a more definitive treatment, then what we do is we reduce the nasal dorsum. We take it down by removing bone, by removing cartilage, and that's what achieves that nice little sloped nose. By removing cartilage and by removing bone, you can go from a dorsal hump with poor nasal tip definition to a nice nasal slope with a very aesthetic nasal tip. Surgical rhinoplasty, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much.